Welcome to the Joyge Kingdom. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of an update on the Joyge Kingdom brand and an update on the channel and some things I talked about. Just we, we need to do a little bit of a zoomy. I guess this will be a zoomy out episode. Okay, so because there's there's been some development, there's been some there's been an evolution of the way I look at my brand and investing and NFTs in general. So over the past couple of months, as you know, NFTs have done massive ups, massive downs, like all the crazy things. There's been trends. Um, and it just if you look at the NFT space two months ago, it was just a completely different everything, right? And so every two to six weeks, you have to pretty much overhaul everything and restart. And so that's something that I've said every few weeks. And we do these NFT market updates and zoom out because of that reason. And so a few, a couple months ago, I said that I wasn't going to be selling any of the NFTs that I bought way back in the summer because I was talking about these assets uh, and I figured I would just hold them or give them away or if I needed them for play to earn. Um, and now that I'm in the point of this game where I've interviewed all these CEOs and founders and I've networked and connected with all these people, I've realized that NFTs for me is not about flexing anymore it was it was to buy the project get the 12x and be like yeah look at look at me but now it's not you know it's about supporting people that i believe in you know when i bought my cool man universe at 0.1 eth when i told you guys to buy it it's it's at like two eth floor i, I don't want to sell that project i'm not going to sell that project because i still i only have one and i believe in coffee man dan i love him i love his brand i love everything about him and also, if I ever meet him, I'm able to be like, hey, I invested in you. I like you. I'm, and I even put my money where my mouth was. And when I bought my crypto goon, my cryptoon, sorry, my cryptoon goon, uh, and I had that podcast with Brian, and I was able to connect with him, become friends, open a relationship, and I ended up buying into the project, I realized that NFTs are a way for me to show support and connect and network a little bit too. And, and, it's an investment in the brand of the Joyge Kingdom, which is ultimately the goal is to build my brand as, as big as possible, build the networking connections as big, big as possible and, and to grow that, you know? And I realized that it's dumb for me to hold these projects that there's just no reason to hold some of these. Like I have like three Evaverse. There's just no reason for me to hold all three. And it's, in, it's counterintuitive for me to give them away because I would use that liquidity to go buy a SupDuck so I can support Frankie, who's one of my friends too, the guy who, who founded SupDucks. And like, it makes no sense for me to give them away. I know you guys are be mad because you're like, ah, oh, what I wanted to give away is, but like, look, I, I want to, I want to use that liquidity to push the brand, like buy merch for, for the holders and like push the brand, push the brand. It's, it's all going back into the brand. And I, ba I basically just had like a realignment in my head. And I was like, dude, I don't have the liquidity to buy a sub duck right now, but I would, if I sold one of these extra NFTs that I just don't really need. And realistically, I got 5k subs. It's not like I'm pumping up the project. You know, the projects are going to do what they're going to do regardless of what I've said. Plus, most of the projects I'm holding, I haven't talked about in months anyway. So it's not like they're being affected anymore. And so I kind of had that realization. So I was able to call a meeting with the Joyge Council, which is my holders of my NFT photography set and my OG Joyagers. And we had a consensus of a unanimous decision to basically scrap the whole old uh, strategy and come up with this new one because it makes sense you know like when i bought into that it was just it was just mind blogging when i when i bought the bungee and when i bought the cryptoon goon and i realized that this is about networking and supporting friends and doing stuff like that more than it is flexing it just changed my outlook on everything and it flip-flopped my whole reality and so i was able to talk to them i was able to explain that angle they all agree we had a unanimous decision to just overhaul that whole thing and so i just wanted to let you guys know that i will be liquidating over the next bull market probably um i'm not going to be like tweeting about projects i'm buying in and out of still i'm still not participating in in like crazy degen stuff and pumping and dumping like the goal is still never to pump and dump i'm not pumping and dumping i'm not going to talk about a project pump it up and sell it next week like that's not that's not ever what's going to happen that's that was never the goal that's not changing at all i'm just letting you know that i will be selling off some of my nfts because there's no point in holding some of them anymore especially if there's no like if there's no business relationship you know like there's just no reason for me to hold that when i could just hold another nft that would help me as far as a business relationship and also just as a support kind of thing so anyways i don't really owe this video to anyone i just wanted to explain this just in case people were like wait a second i thought he wasn't going to sell them and he's selling them why is he selling it he's like taking all the money and he's buying ferraris with it like i'm not buying fucking ferraris like every all the money i make i make i make a good bit of money but it goes straight into the brand. Like, it's not like I have the money. You know, when, when people are like, Elon Musk has t like $50 billion, it's like, no, he doesn't. He does not have $50 billion. Like, 
it's sitting it, it, his net worth it's what he's worth it's not how much money is in his wallet and so it's the same thing with me like my dad was like why don't you buy a fucking car i'm like bro i i can't like i'm buying this shit i'm, I'm like buying nfts because i want to invest and like i want to learn and you know i'm buying merch because i want to give back to my holders like that's what i care about right now and i do need to get a fucking car at some point but that's kind of where my head is at and my brand is my my it's my it's my everything right now i mean i've told my holders this it, it's my it's my v friends but it's it's way smaller it's more, it's more exclusive and and that's gonna we're gonna build that brand from the from the inside out and i'm gonna try and offer as much value as i can and i just wanted to make this update video for you guys uh and also kind of give you guys a bearing on where i'm at in the nft marketplace and where my head is because it's just it's just not in the same place as Degens. I'm not in Degen mode anymore, right? You know, like two percent of my portfolio, two percent, literally, like like no money is in Degen stuff right now. It's just I'm just doing enough to be in the game, so I know what's happening, right? So I can be like not uneducated, right? Like, like honestly, dude, I've lost faith in some of these big YouTubers because I'm seeing some of their predictions and they're like so painfully bad, and I'm like. Why are you making predictions when you're not even paying attention? Like me, you know, Nathan, Tom, Corey, uh, NFT Verse, Giancarlo, we're all in there doing the due diligence and like doing the dirty work. We're down in there in the scraps with you guys. So we know, we know what's happening. We're very aware of what's happening. And some of these bigger YouTubers are building their own businesses and very, very deep in their own world, including Gary Vee, you know, and they're just, they're just not as aware as we are. And so... It was just interesting to me. I just watched a few people uh, make predictions that were just so bad, and I just couldn't believe how how wrong they were. And I don't know. I um, I'm excited because I felt like we've done a great job building this brand and establishing value, and we're gonna be okay in the bear market. My my brand is not. It's not affected whether or not NFTs are doing well or not. It's not where my brand comes from. I'm not doing paid promotions. It, that's not where my where my value comes from. And so, yeah, I'm just I'm really happy that you guys are here with me. I hope you guys understand. I hope I explained it in a way that made any sense. I fucking already filmed two videos in a row. My brain's mush right now. Um, but anyways, I appreciate you guys all being in here. If you're still here at the end of this video, um, code word is gonna be Joy's Kingdom because that's that's what this is, dude. Like. Like I kept saying it earlier in this video, like I already said it like five times, but like the Joyous Kingdom is everything I do. Everything I think about, everything I wear, it's Joyous Kingdom, bro. Like it's everything is the Joyous Kingdom. That that's the only thing I give a shit about. So everything I do is to push that, you know, and to bring up as many people as I can with me and to be able to support my friends, my new friends in the NFT space, to be able to buy Tom's NFT when it comes out, to be able to buy NFT Nate's when it comes out, to be able to support these people and grow in the space. And it's really, it's just it's just not about flexing anymore. And it was a few months ago and it's not. And I'm here to evolve. And I hope you guys are here to evolve with me. I hope I can help you guys. I hope all my videos are doing something. It, even if it's not NFT related, maybe you just, you need someone to be consistent in your life. Maybe like, I understand that. Uh, I've been through many periods of my life where I relied on someone else to be consistent, to get me through a period of time. And I understand that. And that's what I hope to do. I mean, I, I feel like every time I put on a video, it's like, here's the goal. We nail the video, move on. And I think some people think that maybe I'm always happy all the time, or I'm always just go, go, go. But that's not the reality, dude. Like I don't, sh I don't film myself sitting in my bed, fucking feeling bad about myself on a Tuesday afternoon for three hours. Um, and I can't get up to go film a video because I feel like shit. Like I'm not going to film that, you know, you know what I mean? So it's not like that's the reality of this, but I do understand the the importance of showing up and being there and showing up when other people aren't. And when someone else needs me to show up, I'm going to be there. That's what I'm here to do. I want to be, I want to be the guy. I want to be the YouTuber that everyone comes to. I want to be the number one YouTuber in, on the whole platform. You know, I don't have to have the most subscribers, but I want to be the best. I want to be the most important and the one that people look to for help. And I want to show up for you guys. So anyways, yeah, I appreciate you guys all being in here. Again, code word, Joyce Kingdom. If you want to pick up your three free stocks down below in the description, it also helps me out directly with my Weeble link. As soon as you deposit even $1, I get some kind of commission. I forget even what the details are. But yeah, I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Join the kingdom. Like the video. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. All, all the things. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see more of me right now, click on one of these boxes on our side of me. Until next time, continue on your joyage. Continue to learn. And be grateful you're live watching this video.